Yo, another week means another pair of sneakers for your collection, and there are a few styles you might want to check out this week. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and this is the Heat Check. The Lunar Epic Fly Date hit the sneaker scene back in the late spring and instantly became one of the most comfortable sneakers in the Nike running world. The Fly Date Upper is obviously soft and conforms well to the shape of your foot, but really, it's the outsole on these that really makes the difference. With Lunar in the name, you already know they're going to be pretty responsive, but the outsole is a bit different as well. As seen here on the lows, the Lunar Epic features laser sight geometric pistons that were inspired by a pressure map of your foot. Now these are actually made of Lunar Lawn and move with you as you run or walk. The latest version rocked that fly knit in a variation of that multicolor look which always seems to work for Nike. You can grab these right now over at Finish Line for $160. If you're a fan of the foam posit, you've actually been having a really good year on the low. They may not get the hype that they used to get a few years ago, but they're definitely popping up in some very solid colorways for 2016. For the next version, Nike Sportswear is dropping the Nike Air Foam Posit Pro in what is being called Hyper Cobalt. For those that don't know, the addition of the Pro on the name adds that jeweled Nike swoosh on the side panel, which in this case is in black. Pricing for those is $230, and they're available right now. Keeping with that color blue, Jordan brand is getting into the mix on Saturday with the Air Jordan 1 KO High. As most of you know, the Air Jordan 1 KO is slightly different than the regular Jordan 1, especially when it comes to the materials that they use on the upper. This pair in particular takes inspiration from Don C's Air Jordan 2 and rocks quilted suede inlays beneath the normal canvas upper. If you're looking to grab these, they're going to cost you the usual $140. Saturday is also the day we get our first look or get our hands on of the new Adidas Yeezy 350 and infinite toddler sizes. Teased a few months ago by Kim Kardashian West, the baby Yeezys are basically mini versions of the shoes that you and I have. As for the colorways, Adidas is rocking with Turtle Dove and Pirate Black, which seem to be the most popular of the two. Pricing for these is $130 and they are going to go quick, so you better be on it if you want to cop a pair. Saturday is also the day we get our last bit of Olympic gold with the Air Jordan 11 Low. Still rocking that patent leather ran, this colorway of the shoe carries the closing ceremony nickname as an ode to last Sunday when Jimmy Butler and Team USA shut down the Olympics with the gold medal. Contrasted with white on the upper and a black liner, this Jordan 11 low is going to cost you $170 over at finish line. Not a ton of stuff dropping this week, but what is dropping is pretty special in my opinion. Be sure to check below for more info on any of the kicks that I talked about today, and feel free to like and hit that thumbs up button. I am your host, Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line, and as always, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace. When you have someone like Jordan at the top of your brand, it's easy to rely on the past. But is the Jordan 31 a play for the future? Let's start with the obvious, the Nike swoosh. The last of this shoe, which is the KD9. Yes, you guys have seen it before, but this time you get the perspective of the designer of the shoe, which take things up 